Hello, I'm Christopher Kapik, and I recently created a blog template using Astro and Netlify CMS and Tailwind, uh, and it automatically posts to Medium and Dev.2. It's called Astro Dev Blog. I think it's a pretty sweet template, if I do say so myself. So I'm going to kind of walk through the, the benefits of it, uh, as well as deploy my own personal blog so you can sort of see how that, how that process works. It's built with Astro, which means it's a statically generated site, which means it's fast. Obviously, Astro is kind of like the new hot thing, so I wanted to experiment with a little bit. Uh, like I mentioned, it publishes to Medium and Dev.2. For this, here's the, the repo for it. The repo and the site will be linked in the description. So there's this republish script, which basically get, it checks the database to see whether a file has been published. And if it's not been published and it's supposed to be published, then it calls the Medium API and the Dev.2 API. And for Dev.2 articles, I can also update the file this is not a feature i think the medium api is implemented yet but that basically what happens in this file and that that gets run at build time so if we look at the package.json there is the republish script uh, which is just using ts node and calling the script then in the uh, netlify.toml the command uh, generates the prisma database schema so it'll know how to connect to the database it pushes the config to the database this is just to make sure it works the first time any sub a subsequent time this won't really do anything. If you are going to mess with the database though, you might want to take a look at this and adjust this accordingly. It'll run the republish script. So every time the site gets built, so every time you post a new article with Netlify CMS, it's going to trigger a build. So as part of the build, it will republish any articles and then it'll build the site. So it'll update locally for you. Yeah, so I guess, um, I don't know if I went through all this. It's static. Um, it's also, it's, it's, it's pretty basic. Like it's extensible in the sense that if you want to do something, there's no esoteric, like fancy setup or anything. It's, it's an Astro site. The only really unique thing is the republish script and you can literally delete the file and just delete the script from the package.json if you don't want that. So yeah, post medium and it's, oh, it's completely serverless too. So you can host it for free. The, so you need a cockroach database, but you can use the serverless, um, options for this. And the nice thing about that is if you're not using a lot of the database, it's going to be free. And the, the fact of the matter is that in this instance, it's, it's not going to be using very much because it's only calling the database at build time. And unless you've got like, I don't know, millions of articles, it, I don't see why that would be a problem. So anyway, to deploy the, the site, the first thing we're going to do is create our serverless database. So if you go to cockroachlabs.cloud slash clusters, or I guess you have to log in first, so just cockroachlabs.cloud. We're going to create a cluster, choose serverless. It'll be $0 a month. So, or we can use a free tier. So it's, it's that way. Ultimately, I guess the location doesn't even matter that much because this happens at build time. So latency really shouldn't be a problem for your end user or anything like that. And then we'll just give it a name like test Christopher Capic. Oh, just cap it. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to delete this and create a new one without the, the key in it. So like, I'm not going to have any operational security problems. So this is mostly a demo, but I will be deploying to uh, the site that I'm deploying. I'll just update the values. So it's, it, it, this is a demo. I'll make sure nobody can hack me by deleting this database. So we'll generate the username and password. I don't think we need to copy this. I'm going to, I'm going to risk it and not reveal the password right now. And we want the general connection string, which we can copy down here. So now we have the connection string. Now we can go ahead and say deploy to Netlify. So when you get here, you're going to connect to your GitHub account, and then you're going to say what you want the name of your site or the repo to be in GitHub. So I'm going to say Christopher Capic com for, or I want to think I can do a dot in the repo name. Oops. Dot com. And then I'll paste in the connection string, save and deploy. And momentarily we should have our personal site live. Um, if you want to change the connection string, by the way, you'll go into the site settings and then come down to build and deploy on the, le on the left sidebar. And there are uh, environment variables. It's a database URL that you're going to want to change. So anyway, it should finish deploying shortly. It doesn't take too long, um, especially when you don't have that many articles. One thing you're going to need to do is go to identity, enable identity. And then also you'll need to go to called Git gateway and enable Git gateway. Um, okay. I think that's good. Let's see if it's done deploying. All right, here we go. So it's done deploying. We can now open it. Here's our site. So it's pretty simple to get up and going. The how to use Astro dev blog is just part of the main repo. So it's going to be included. So let, let me, uh, now if we go to slash admin, this will be our CMS. It uses Netlify identity. 
Um, I need to enable, you could just invite yourself with um, email and username. I do want to enable GitHub so I can sign up with GitHub. I'm going to use a default configuration. This is nicer because I don't have to add my own credentials. It saves me a step. So now if we go back here, we refresh the page. Log in with Netlify identity. We should see connect with GitHub. There we go. All right, so it was a little goofy there. I don't know exactly what was up with that, but if you go to slash admin, you should see the CMS. If it will load, perhaps it will not. Here we go. So yeah, now you can see the article and the authors. If you want to add an author, you just go into the authors here and you can say add authors and fill in the information here. Uh, you will notice that it will generate an ID here. The ID is used to ensure uniqueness, uh, which is useful for the database uh, when it comes to publishing articles. Uh, to add an article, you can just say new article. You can choose whether to publish to Medium or Dev.2. These will only work once you've configured your API keys, which I will show you how to do in a second. So anyway, this is all fine and dandy. Um, now I'll show you how to configure the API keys. So first you're going to need to let me see if I can find it. Deploy some GitHub. Okay, here we go. So first you're gonna to need to clone this repository locally. So I'll open this up in the terminal. Let's say git clone. And then once it's done here, uh, there are a couple things we need to do locally. So we're going to cd code and just open this in Visual Studio Code. Uh, if you're a developer, which is really who I'm targeting here, then I'm guessing you'll know how to do this. Um, opening with code and everything. The first thing we're going to do is npm install. Then we're going to npx prisma generate. Then we're going to say npx prisma studio. And then in our environ file, we need to make that. So it'll be .env. And we'll say database URL equals. Right, if we were on npx prisma video again. Studio. Um, now that we have the database URL, it should work. It'll open up the Prisma Studio, and here's where we need to go. We need to go into author. And once you've added your author, you can see by the name here, you're going to add your medium key, which you can get from your medium dashboard, as well as your medium ID, and your dev2 key. I'm not gonna put them in here because I don't wanna show mine. Um, but once you've, so like, you'll type it in there, you can say save change. Once it's here, um, and you can see that that change reflected now. Then if you build one more time, it'll correctly publish to medium and dev.2. If you are in your CMS and you say, oh, this is my old blog. I need to migrate things away from that. If you say publish to medium and publish to dev.2 and you haven't added your API keys, then it simply won't publish. Yeah, I guess everything else can kind of be understood by just poking around a little bit. Uh, I hope this is useful and I hope a couple of people use it maybe. I think that'd be kind of cool if my template proves to be useful. Um, at the very least, it might be an interesting uh, Astro repo to take a look at. So uh, I will make a video shortly discussing my thoughts on Astro. I like it a lot, but there are a couple things I want to point out that I think can be improved, or maybe I'm just using it incorrectly, and maybe someone can, can correct me on that. Oh, one more thing um, before I end this video. There are three things that I am ideally looking for help. I'm not going to continue working on this. Um, I'm, I'm satisfied with where the progress is at this point, just for my personal use, but three things that might be kind of cool to get open source contributions for. First of all, the styling. I don't understand why the styling is the way that, this is one of my complaints with Astro. I'm confused about the styling. I don't know what I did wrong, but on this main page, the styling for the, the uh, nav bar looks like this. And down here, you can see there's like sort of an alternating like green, white, green thing. And if I hover, then I get the, the green effect for the Instagram logo as well. I don't think there should be anything different about the Instagram logo. I don't know why it does that to me. Uh, and then the other thing is if I go to the about page and I don't see why this would be any different, the styling in the nav bar is different and all of the logos are white and they don't change to green. Now, my hypothesis was that it had something to do with the styling on the blog page because the way Astro works is you article. Okay, so you, you have your layout and then inside of the layout, you pass in this slot which is kind of like in React, it's kind of like children. I think it's also a slot for, um, for Svelte components. So you pass in the slot, but you can't pass styling down through the slot, so you have to add global styling. So I thought that might be the problem, but this the problem is not applicable on 
the on this page. It's it's working correctly here. I guess it is kind of a problem down here. So first thing, styling. If someone can figure out what the styling is doing and, and have a fi fix for that, and you want to share that and publish it to GitHub, I would appreciate that a lot. I'll take a look at your pull request. Uh, the second thing is uh, the security and error handling for the republish script can definitely be better. It's passable now, but that would be a good thing for someone to take a look at. Uh, and the third thing, let's see if I can remember it. I know I put it here. Um, optimize the picture hosting. So right now with, um, cause I'm using Netlify CMS and when you upload a photo, it uploads like just the full size photo. So like, for instance, this photo right here is way bigger than it needs to be. And it causes the site to be a little bit slower when it's loading this image. So image optimization would be a good improvement. And if you're at all interested in helping out with that, feel free to submit a PR. I'll definitely, t I'll, I'll happily take a look. So. Um, okay. I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover right away. I apologize that this video is a little bit rambly. I hope it was helpful. And I hope, I hope this, this template is useful for people. If you have any comments or anything, any suggestions, like I said, I, I'm probably done with this, but if you have any obvious like ways I can improve, maybe I'll consider taking a look. Or again, if you want to submit a PR, I'll happily take a look at it. But yeah, hope this is useful. And if you're uh, new to the channel, I'd say welcome. And if, if you uh, are interested in anything I'll be doing in the future, then feel free to subscribe. I do plan on making a little bit more content about um, Astro. And I'm also toying with the idea of doing dev.2's got this, uh, this Redis hackathon. So I might uh, take a stab at that and sort of document my process. So anyway, thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe. I'd appreciate that. And uh, yeah, check out the template. All right, bye.